promised you guys that you would meet um, Chekhov. He is down your chest. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, why can't me? I don't know. Here, let me show. I'll get, I'll get the camera. You show Chekhov. Say, so, uh, Chekhov is here with us today. Chekhov. He's my new kitten. He's my new Maine Coon. And uh, we just got him a couple weeks ago, and I know a lot of you wanted to uh, see him. So Hello. there he is. Hello. I'm the best kitten ever. <laughs> Say bye, Chekhov. I hope he doesn't charge us a royalty for this. I don't know. So, hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome. It's Thursday, and I'm glad that you're here because today what we're going to do is we're going to make Nashville hot chicken wings. And we're going to do it with a dill-infused, pickle-infused dressing. So Nashville hot, chicken wings, pickles. Come on. I mean, sounds pretty darn good, right? Because, listen, it's the time of year where we're hanging out. We're inside. We want to uh, have our friends and our family over, and we want to make stuff that tastes really good so everybody can have a good time and eat, watch the sports or whatever you're doing, or even for Thanksgiving is coming up. You want to have some appetizers for that. This is one of them. All right. So, Jess, show them what's inside there. Ooh. Because, listen, every time I see chicken oh. wings, just the look, just the thought, just the sound of chicken wings makes me go crazy. All right. So, this is how we're doing it. It's a, kind of a fun way. A little bit different maybe than the way you might do them. Uh, maybe not. Let me know. So, uh, here I have buttermilk, hot sauce, and dill pickle juice. Now I marinated my chicken wings in here overnight. You only need about an hour. I, I would prefer four, but it's okay. An hour works. Overnight's even better in my opinion. So I did these overnight and this is what it looks like. So you put your wings in a Ziploc bag or a container, marinate them as long as you can. And then what you're going to do is we're going to just do some uh, flour breading on these. Now, um, I'm going to do a single coat for you guys here today, but truth be told, you can do a double dip, and uh, we can talk about that, but I always double dip, but today we're going to do single dip. So you're going to take it out of the buttermilk marinade, just like that, and then what I want you to do, now you can put these in a bowl. I'm just leaving them in the bag to save some time. You want to shake off as much of that buttermilk as you can. Now, these wings that I got, these were big wings. I'm a little wing guy. Um, big wings are good too. Any wings good, but I, I like the smaller ones. I can only get big ones. That's okay. And then we put them in the flour mixture and then you just want to cover them up. And then again, you want to shake it off as much as you can. Now, if you wanted to, you could dip it right back into the marinade, just like that. Shake off that marinade and back in. That's the double dip. That's the double dip. But and not the kind when you dip your chip twice in the salsa. No, not man. No, not the kind like on Seinfeld right. when everybody got in trouble. This is the good kind of double <laughs> dip because we're going to cook these. So that's what the double dip looks like. And that's my first wing. So I'm doing this on an airflow rack. I let the other flour drip down to another bottom rack. Um, you can use whatever system you like, but that's, that's what they look like. So I'm not going to bore you guys and dip a bunch of wings, but that's how you do it. You take them right out of the marinade, right into the flour, right onto a surface to let them hydrate for about 15, 20 minutes in the fridge if you can. Then you would do it all over again. Single dip or double dip, they're going to be delicious either way. All right, so let me move these out of the way because I want to get to the important part. Which is what? Well, you just wait, Jess. <laughs> All right, let me just seal these up. My put curiosity these over here. is peaking. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make what we call the Nashville hot sauce. Ooh. There's a lot of recipes for Nashville hot. And um, listen, they're all good. Here's one that I use. It's pretty simple. Now, there's about a stick of butter in there, and I melted it. See that? It's nice and melty butter. And then here what we have is we have chili powder. We have paprika. We have cayenne pepper. We have garlic powder, we have red pepper flakes, and brown sugar, mm. salt and pepper. I just put it all in one bowl. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we pop it right in here, and you want to mix that up. We want to get our brown sugar and all those spices incorporated. Mm. It's okay if it's lumpy right off the jump, you guys, because it's going to melt. Now, what I'm going to do 
And I actually have time today because I, I have another sauce that we're gonna make because these wings with the Nashville hot are so good. Nashville hot sauce, listen, it's a classic, right? Classics are good for a reason. They've been around forever for a reason because they're good. <laughs> and um, listen, no matter what recipe you use, it's gonna be great. This is just a very simple standard one and I think it, it tastes really good. I'm gonna put this on the flame and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this just for about five minutes just to get all the flavors incorporated, get that sugar melted in with the butter. And uh, we're gonna come back to that. Now we're gonna make the dill pickle infused dressing that we're gonna dip on them. Um, first, we're gonna start with dill pickle juice, of course. Uh, you want about a quarter cup of that. We have about two thirds of a cup of mayo, right? Mayo and pickle juice, I'm already, I'm already in. Yes. Then what we have is we have some sour cream. Now I'm in even more. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> now I have some chopped up pickles. Mm. Now you can use sweet or dill. I'm using all dill for this. And then I have some fresh dill. The fresh dill is important. Yeah. But if you can't get fresh dill, you, you can use the dried dill. It's okay. It's okay. No one's going to get hurt. <laughs> and then we're just going to incorporate this just really simply with like a silicone spatula. Oh man, the dill pickle and the mayo. It smells so good with that fresh dill. Oh. Michelle McVicker said she loves our happy spatula. Oh yeah, me too. I know, I love them. I love them. I wish I, love them I have about 20 of them. And um, listen, I got them when the kids were little because you know I wanted them to cook with me. And now, now they only eat with me. They don't cook with me. But I had fun and I, I love these. They make me smile every time I use them. Okay. So we made our dill. This is our dill infused dressing with, with uh, pickle juice. We're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna come and check on my Nashville hot. It's looking pretty good. By the time I get my wings out, I think this is gonna be just good enough. Honestly, you don't have to cook it that long. Okay, I will get my serving bowl and we'll check out our uh, buttermilk dipped wings. And mm. you know, buttermilk is great because and listen, if you don't have buttermilk, you can use a little yogurt and some lemon. That works okay, too. Um, buttermilk is just great. It imparts a great flavor, tenderizes the meat, helps, obviously, the flour stick to it, and you don't have to use that breading, you know, the, um, the dry, wet, dry method, because you can do it all at once with the marinade, which is super nice to be able to do. <laughs> Because right. you hate dredging. <laughs> well, you know what? I have a little bit of ADD yeah. just to... It's not just, your favorite task. Yeah, you know, the repetition is, is uh, you know... Yeah, I know. Hey, what can I say, Jessica Thies? <laughs> I'm going uh, to grab another spatula. Uh, but I don't have one. That's okay. I'll just use fork. Okay. So, actually, these aren't hot. I'm just going to use my wings. I just warmed these up. These are our... Look how beautiful those wings are. They have a nice crispy crust. They're not over breaded. Oh my and, God, they look really good. You know, for people who don't like uh, too much breading, they're great. If you like your wings breaded, you're gonna love these too. Oh man, these look they so really, really good. Look good. Now, I put a little celery and some fresh dill in here. Mm. Then what we're gonna do now, you can do it however you like, but for the purposes of television, <laughs> I'm gonna cascade this down my wings like this. Cascade. Look at that. I want that Nashville hot sauce to oh, be on this platter when I serve them. Mm -hmm. Now those are going to be great. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of my dill sauce and I'm going to put that right over the top just like this. You just want to kind of sprinkle that on because you can go back. You can always go back and get more, you guys. Just like well, that. you could just give everyone some to dip in, right? Of course. And then on top of that, you can Dip back into the Nashville hot. You can dip back into this with the celery. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. And you know, you took your wings to another place, right? Listen, wings are good if you just put them in with some salt and pepper, count me in. But when you take like this extra step and use the buttermilk and the hot sauce and the pickle juice and all these extra stuff, I think it really takes it to a whole new place. And I think all your friends and family will really appreciate it. So. <laughs> Who's, how, what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm talking too much. She laughs when I talk too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, man. Um, Allison McCall Francis said, did I miss Chekhov? 
You, you sure missed Chekhov. You're a day late and a dollar short, money. Here we go. Oh, Eric what is that? Loves you, Akuma Matata. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Behold. I don't know what that means, but Behold that's him. the new king. Anyway, okay. beat it. Beat it, you little runt. So cute. Um, Rita France said there's a Jersey girl in the house. She's oh, a Jersey. Jersey, girl. St- hey, Jersey strong. Uh, Terry Propovich says dill sauce is like great for her. She's loving that idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Uh, it's so we, simple. We have Brenda Duty from. B Virginia, as in B E E, the B, like a bubble. Oh, B, like B Virginia, that's really? Cool. I never heard of that. I know that's so cool. Where is that? I gotta find I don't out. Yeah, it's in Virginia. B, I <laughs> like it. You like my joke? I I B, I want to B and B. I, I like that. Anyway, um, that could be a bumper sticker. For <laughs> Maybe it probably is. Uh oh, Allison said they look restaurant quality. Those oh, ones. these are restaurant quality. They are restaurant quality. These they, are Eric Feast quality. These, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. I'm going to hammer these so hard. I'm going to eat these. (laughs) These are, I always like to say they're pounded with flavor. These are triple pounded with flavor because we have the uh, buttermilk, we have the Nashville hot sauce, and we have the dill sauce on top of that. I I, you know, I don't want to brag, but these are pretty good. D. Dalton said, uh, enjoy them for me. Oh, D, you can make them. It's easy. The recipe is posted. And D, I hope you'll share this. I hope everybody shares this so their friends can have this recipe too. Yeah, and how about a shout out to that um, fun Facebook page? Oh yeah, you guys, I hope you guys are out there. Uh, we have this new great Facebook page that we're uh, you know, just kind of connected with. It's um, Facebook Recipes, Tips, and Talk. Air Fryer Recipes. Air yes. Fryer Recipes, <laughs> Tips, and Talk. It's a, it's a long name, it is. but it's a big group and we appreciate their uh, support. Hopefully they will have some comments, they'll make this and maybe who knows? Maybe together with our tips and talk, we can improve it, make it better. Version 2.0, who knows? Uh, Gina Brogan said, this looks amazing. Hey, Gina, how you doing? Michelle McVicker said, very lion king of you. What a lovely <laughs> cat. <laughs> you you I don't know. To, I just, you've always wanted to do that. I always right? wanted to do who, Everybody wants to do that, I right? Know. Manic Mark is here. Hi, Manic, Manic Mark. Manic Mark. Hey, Manic, how you doing? <laughs> and Terry, uh, Tell Manic Mark I'm definitely having a cocktail tonight. And uh, tonight, I'm, I think I'm just, I got this absolute grapefruit vodka that I'm, I'm loving lately. I'm just going to put that little on ice and squeeze a little grapefruit right on top of that. That's, that's it for me, Manic. Uh, Rita France said she's in Hopatcon. Hope, Hopatcon. I don't know how to say that. Oh, yeah. Hopatcon. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, New Jersey. That's North Jersey, oh. if I remember. It's actually far north. Maybe by Wawa, New Jersey. Mawa, New Jersey. How about a special shout out to Nancy Adams, my good, good friend from Paddle. Nancy Adams, how you doing? <laughs> Glad you guys could join us. She's, I know. She's hey, always on the go. Just come, walk over from across the street and grab some <laughs> wings, man. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Teresa Cantrell said the cat is in your plant behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fine. Hey, so, he's one of four, <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're used to it. Katie Bolo's here. Katie hey, Katie. B. And we have... You know Katie's having a cocktail. That's right. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm trying to scroll quickly. Amy oh. Gallo says, thanks for the link. Someone must have linked to the, to the recipe. Oh, program. cool. Thanks, Amy. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I appreciate anybody who shares this video. And um, guys, I want to just say thank you. I hope you will enjoy your Nashville hot wings. Uh, they're, they're really good. And don't, don't skimp. It's easy to make that dill sauce, so, so don't not do it. And I hope I'll see you guys next Thursday. I forget what I'm doing, but um, listen, I'll see you then. Oh, wait, one quick shout out to Zoe. Oh, hey, Zoe. She wants a shout out. I know, because Zoe wants to see the kitten. That's right. <laughs> All right, Zoe. All right, Zoe Francis. I'll see you guys later.